our first news item is a marry your rapist bill to be introduced by lawmakers in Turkey. So a law which would allow men accused of having sex with girls who are under 18 to avoid punishment they would uh, to avoid punishment if they marry their victims is set to be introduced in the parliament in Turkey. This controversial so-called marry your rapist bill which lawmakers are planning to introduce at the end of January has sparked fury amongst women's rights campaigners throughout the country. A similar bill which was defeated in 2016 after national and global outrage. This legislation from 2016 would have only pardoned men if they had had sex with women without force or threat. And also with regard to this new bill, um, in, not only is it girls who are under 18, but the age difference is less than 10 years. That's also part of the Wait, bill. so this is in Turkey. Um, mm -hmm. This sounds like a yep. more of a Christian thing to me than an Islamic thing. Because in, in the Bible, we have this, right? If you, if you have sex with a man's daughter without being married, you could... Wait, what happens? You pay you pay some silver. Oh, by the way, your microphone is being okay. You pay some silver to somebody, and what happens? Uh, I forgot. What you well, did. yeah, go on. You you can pay for your daughter, or you can marry. They would marry her, but there's a payment. Right. You can sell your daughter, money, goats. Right. Things so, like that. So, but you marry. So if if you have rape. If you rape a man, a man's daughter or something in Christianity, you could marry her and pay some silver, and then all is good. Hey, they stop touching, stop touching the mic. I'm moving it so okay. it stays better. That's okay. okay. So it's not just Christianity. I think it's in the Old Testament as well. Yeah, that's what I meant. The Bible, uh, the mm -hmm. Old Testament, so Jews and Christian. But I, we don't have. This is Turkey. This is an Islamic country, so we don't have this in Islam. That you can't do that in Islam. So it's weird. That something that I know you can do in Christianity and Judaism, um, mostly Judaism. Um, wait, sub Rivka, you're t t the paper moving? Really, I can hear it on the thing. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, I was going to read something about okay. it in go on, here. Go on, go on, go on. They were saying that um, a lot of this does happen in Islamic countries and they've been able to get rid of these laws in countries like Jordan, right. Morocco, Lebanon, but a lot of it was maybe not so much religion based but more Culture. culturally based for yeah. honor culture so to speak. Right. So even though it happens mostly in Islamic countries, it's technically not Islamic because there is no Islamic scripture there's nothing in the Quran that you could do this. As as much I, I you know, the Hadith is so big, but I haven't even seen anything in the Hadith that would support this. If I'm wrong, if somebody knows a Hadith that supports this, please let let us know in the comment section. But I don't think this is Islamic. You can't if you rape somebody before, you know, if you have sex with somebody that is not your wife or your slave, okay? So you can't just like willy like yeah, Islam has slavery and has sex slavery, but you can't just willy nilly go have sex with somebody and just be like, well, they're my slave. No, like you have to like buy it, the slave sex slave, or you have to capture it in war for that to become officially your sex slave, right? You can't just be like, just go have sex with. And again, like you have to understand, like based on Islam, if you read Islamic scripture, you you come out with this understanding that an unmarried woman is the property of her father right so it's when you rape a woman in islam the crime is not necessarily against the woman the crime is against the owner of the woman which is the father right even in even in judaism is like that because who you pay damages to is not the girl you pay damages to the father because you broke the property right well i think that um the bill even though they're calling it marry your rapist, I think it's really intended for um, underage marriage. Oh, okay. Because that is sort of, I, they're calling it that because people are saying, you know, a, a girl or pr mostly it's girls, but it could be even a young oh, boy. Oh, I see. They I can't see. really consent. 
Okay, so, so this is not about would be, okay, okay, okay. So, so this is more about well. So they allow I think, the bill is technically trying to allow um, underage marriage if you marry and, the girl. Okay, okay. So now I get right. It. So yeah. even though it would have been stat a statutory rape violation, and the mm. age for marriage in Turkey is supposed to be eighteen, oh, they're saying they're trying to find a it's not mm. provided. There's only a ten year difference and. You want to get married. Okay, this is, this is Islamic then. Well, apparently that's what Ankara is claiming. Like the government right. is claiming that it's this bill will rectify the injustice that happens to couples that marry young and don't uh, know that they're in violation of the law. Okay, so the name of this uh, bill by the protest is just confusing me what this is about. Okay, so this is... A, this yes. This bill is about allowing people to marry underage girls. Okay, mm -hmm. so definitely Islamic then. So this is an Islamic problem. Um, okay, okay. Right. So, there, yeah, and, and I see why they call it marry a rapist because children can't um, consent. So that makes sense. But it would have been more clear if they say marry a child bill. Because I think pe people would be more outraged for some reason if that was the name of the bill. Marry a child. Bill. Well, I think that the name of it is um, inflammatory. Right, on purpose. Because that's how a lot of the women in the country feel about it. Right. Particularly, as you said, that women are often seen as property. And actually, um, a professor from the Istanbul University Department of Criminal Law said exactly the same thing. He said, not only will the bill increase the likelihood of the rates of violence against women and child marriage, but it will, and I quote, legitimize the mentality that women are objects to possess hmm. and exist only for the sexual satisfaction of men. Right. So why is Turkey pushing for this? This is Turkey is going more and more Islamic, right? So this is well, they're going backwards because yeah. they actually abolished a law like this in 2005. Right. Yeah, Turkey is going... A lot of Islamic countries are going backwards when it comes... They're getting more Islamic. But, like, if you were... Like, who introduced this bill? Like, the, what's the political motivation behind it? Are you trying to appeal to... Like, the, are, are you... Like, what's the... Because these people are strategic. Like, they wouldn't do something unless it benefits them in a way. Like, are, do you think, like, oh, there's a whole bunch of men the muslim men that this appeals to and this is how we could get more support like is that what the calculation is because i mean the, i yeah. think it's erdogan and his party right because um in 2017 they also passed a law allowing islamic muftis and islamic scholars to perform um civil marriage ceremonies mm. which a lot of people said undermined its turkey's Se secular. secular constitution right. and so i think it's the whole sort of re-islamatization that's yeah. happening under erdogan i mean that's how i would look at it i mean especially it's, because it's so telling it's, it's so telling about what islam is when when the process of Islam, more Islamization of the country involves, oh yeah, you get to have sex with children. This is this is our our step on <laughs> making the country more Islamic. Like, okay, well, it's it's very interesting because you know Erdogan and like that. I don't know the, who's that guy from Malaysia and some other countries. They're like they're like trying to build a coalition of three countries that fights Islamophobia on, in the world. Right, trying to give Islam the a better image these uh, fight against islamophobes are like well you yourself are doing a much better job showing us what islam stands for than any so-called islamophobe can do by 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 allowing sex with children like we don't even have to do anything you just we're just doing our job for us thank you very much like yeah but so you were going to say something well, I I was going to say that it definitely aired one because I think it was 2014. He was at some kind of conference mm. and he himself said that um, women and men can't be on equal footing because it's unnatural. Right. It goes against nature. Right. So, well, I mean, 
you know. Okay, so so, so th- we have to be careful what we mean by that because men and women are not equal by nature, right? But they should have equal rights. That's two different things. Yeah, I think his words were equal footing, which I would imagine would mean, mean equal rights. rights. And then he goes on to say that women who don't have children are incomplete and they're against their, you know, denying their femininity and right. things like that. Right. Yeah. Well, so keep talking, everyone. We don't we don't need to. I mean, this is sad. Though. <laughs> has this bill has this been it says the bill has been introduced. Does that mean it hasn't been passed yet? So it's just. Been- no, it hasn't been passed. Mm. They tried to do it in 2000. 16 hmm. i believe but it was shot down yeah this actually mm-hmm. because of protests hmm. and public outrage yeah it's very interesting iran and turkey resist um there's a whole bunch of people like not all of the country not even maybe not even the majority of the country but as long iran iran and turkey li- resist islamization more than other countries the in the region right so if you uh, because this is exactly what happened in iran like iranian women are very very against men marrying multiple you know having multiple wives very much against child marriage and the governments keep trying to push for that and there's always a huge backlash by like it goes against even though the country is islamic it goes against the country's culture to do these things right uh, it's very interesting because both Iran and Turkey are the two Islamic countries that didn't let their language become Arabized. Like they kept their, like when, because when Islam spread, all these other non-Arabic countries quickly become Arabic, 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 like Lebanon, Syria, Egypt. But if you look at Turkey and Iran, they kept their language because I think they had such deep rooted cultures that they managed to, even though they were invaded by the Arabs and became Islamic, they they resisted full on Arabization. Let me see what the top comment is. Um, the top comment is by uh, Richard, and it's like it's a quote by Steven Weinberg. It says, "With or without religion, good people can behave well, and bad pe- bad people can do evil. But for good people to do evil." That takes religion. That's one of my religion, favorite yeah. quotes by yeah. And Cameron is saying mm-hmm. this goes against the founder of the Republic of Turkey. What oh this goes against the found yeah. So yeah, uh, Atatürk. Um, Cameron is saying this goes against what the founder of Turkey stands for. Yeah, I think if he was alive, he wouldn't believe how Islamic Turkey has become. The founder of Turkey was very much against Islam and almost anything religious. But yeah. But I, I, don't I think ind- that's been some of the criticism of it too. That it, yeah. it, a lot of this is going against their secular constitution secular. and the secular nature of the country. Right. Let me see if there's any comments I should be reading, guys. If you want to, I want to look at it, but mine's not coming up for some reason. So okay. I don't know why. Oh, here Z- Zera on Facebook is saying, <laughs> as a Turkish girl, girl, I heard some of my relatives defend this and say a lot of these girls are in love with their older boyfriends if they get pregnant they have the men to support them but it's not about uh it's not about bringing love it's about how to protect these victims that are being preyed on so Zirin is saying she she's a Turkish girl and apparently some of her family supporting this by saying like well these people are in love and now they're pregnant and they need the support of the husband yeah so it's very interesting how people don't hear themselves they're supporting marrying children like well they're yes they're a child but you know they're in love like oh my god imagine hearing that in in, in any other you know context. that's the same excuses <laughs> that were given in the united states when they bring up um laws to forbid underage marriage they say yes but what if they get pregnant or right. what if they're in love mm. i mean i could so do that the same i could do that with child um soldiers i could be like i could like recruit an army of child soldiers and be like these are children 
are like, yeah, but they love their country. Like, you know, like they want to defend their borders. And they, they hate their enemy. They hate the enemy. <laughs> they hate <laughs> Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.